All right, hey, hey, we're live. Uh, happy uh, Sunday afternoon, everybody. This is Harry Sue from Slap Your Daddy Barbecue. And uh, I'm happy to be here to answer your questions. And uh, for the uh, past uh, few years, I've been teaching classes and I get a lot of questions from folks all around the internet, around the world, asking me questions about how to cook barbecue, how to grill and tips and tricks. So what I thought I'd do today is answer one of the uh, common questions I get uh, when I get emails from uh, folks is how to do you grill a steak perfectly so that you can get beautiful char marks like pineapple grill marks on each side. Uh, but before I do that, uh, for those who don't know me, uh, I'm from Los Angeles and I've been a pit master for about nine years and I've been won a lot of awards. Uh, you probably see me on a few shows such as uh, Cutthroat Kitchen, Food Network, Chopped, Barbecue Pit Master and a lot of local channels here in uh, California. I am here uh, in beautiful NorCal and I'll give you a view of the backyard here. Uh, it's under construction, but I do have uh, a little kettle here and we're going to try to cook uh, some steaks using it and I wanted to show you how we get grill marks uh, using one of these things and uh, believe it or not, this is the setup that uh, I use when I'm on the road cooking on my one person competition team and uh, this little puppy here with the uh, kettle and uh, the grill grate or you can put a grate on top too, kind of like this. I'll show you how it's done. You can put a grate on top. Uh, I can cook a, a meal for quite a few people. So I wanted to show you guys how this is done. And uh, before I st stop and say hello to all the people signing in, let me go ahead and light the fire. Uh, when, you start, when we start our pit on the road, it's very simple. We just use a sterno and uh, we light it and we put the uh, charcoal chimney and it'll light in about say a few minutes. So let me light up this thing here. See here, there we go, is it lit? Okay, it's on. Uh, and the easiest way to light it safely is actually not to put some newspaper underneath your chimney, but just to go ahead and light a sterno like so, and put your chimney on top, and it'll light up within say five to 10 minutes. Uh, we have uh, the grill grate here, and uh, with that, starting up, let me, uh, you go in and answer your uh, questions here. All right, so I want to say hi to uh, Fred Davison. Smoke some ribs and some uh, pig candy and some pork. And let me switch the camera back. And uh, yep, pig candy is great. And uh, that's basically, uh, we have brown sugar and rub and uh, you put it on any kind of pork is absolutely wonderful. And today I should say, Okay, um, let's see, people are signing on here. So with that, let me talk about a little bit about some of the problems I see when folks write me for questions. The number one mistake beginners make when they cook barbecue is uh, they over smoke their meat. So what people don't quite realize is that barbecue is about uh, using smoke as a seasoning and not to douse their meat with smoke. Oh, let's see here. Jeff says, hey, Donna. Yeah, Donna's uh, kind of helping me out here. She's uh, running in and out of the house. But uh, in the meantime, I do already have some steaks cooked. Uh, we smoked them and we're gonna go show you guys how we char them. What we did was we smoked the steaks to about 110 degrees uh, to kind of get some smoke in it. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and, and grill them and show you how we get the uh, char marks. Uh, let's see here, Derek Gillespie. Hey, Derek, congratulations yesterday on your big win in, uh, uh, was it Elk Grove? Uh, uh, you know, uh, Son of, Son of Smoke is great. Uh, I know I miss, I miss going to competition too. Uh, Derek, last, yesterday, uh, I was teaching a full class in Diamond Bar and, uh, we know, sorry it was tied up, but we definitely want to get back on a circuit and we want to go and compete with all our buddies, uh, hang out with all our buddies. Uh, say hi to Daryl Stites, uh, from Michigan, uh, Robert Morphew. Uh, good day to you, Robert, and uh, hello to Lee Stags. So thank you guys for piling on and getting on the uh, live post. We are just talking about how we're going to be able to do some uh, live grilling here. Well, I've got the uh, fire starting up here. Let me make sure it's starting up. Let me flip the camera over. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess the fire went up. No wonder I'm not going to get the heat. Oh, this fire still on. Okay, hang on. Yeah, this is a new sterno that I've not used before. I'm, I'm used to the one from Sam's Club that has a wick on it. And uh, it's a little bit harder to use, but hopefully it'll, it'll start up in time here. You know, hopefully we can cook the steaks 
and not have to worry about that. Let me uh, see. Yeah, it's getting hot. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll keep going here. And uh, Robert Morphew saying he's firing up his Weber for kebabs. Uh, I actually am using a nice uh, Weber kettle. It's a bronze kettle. Uh, and I want to say hello now to Brady Boudin, all the way from Louisiana. Hey, <laughs> hey Brady. And uh, Derek says, hey, keep what you're doing, Harry, a great barbecue ambassador. You know, we enjoy just hanging out with friends. And uh, I've learned that it's the DNA of barbecue pitmasters to always want to share our passion and our love. And sharing passion and love means that you want to be able to connect with people, share your tips and tricks with them and how you do barbecue. And uh, like I always say, whether you, you grill, <laughs> you cook a hot dog, uh, you, uh, you know, grill ribs, uh, you cook a low and slow barbecue brisket, uh, it's all, all good. So long as you're having fun, uh, celebrating time and community with your family and friends, right? Uh, let's see, Lee Stack say, hello Brady. Carl Hamarillo from Angel Fire. Hey Carl, uh, guess what? I will be the Angel Fire in August uh, and uh, I'll be hanging out with a whole bunch of people there. Um, it's my, gonna be my first time in Angel Fire Resort in New Mexico. We're gonna be cooking up a storm and I heard there's gonna be maybe a, perhaps a couple of thousand folks uh, uh, coming, so it's going to be a fun, fun event. Looking forward to it. Jeremy Grimm, uh, let's see here. It won't let me watch. Um, okay, Jeremy, uh, you may want to check your internet connection and Facebook. It's on Slap Your Daddy BBQ on Facebook. So uh, try your best and uh, hopefully you can get on. If not, I will be posting this on YouTube later as a follow-up, uh, you know, so you can continue to follow me. Uh, Scott Shimano says, howdy, Harry. Give my best to Donna. Yes, thanks, uh, Scott. Heard you guys had fun yesterday in, uh, uh, you know, uh, what do you call, uh, in Elk Grove. And uh, she's, uh, what do you call, uh, busy uh, kind of redoing the backyard here. So we are all kind of you know, trying to get all the patio work done. And uh, let's see here, Alex Guterres. Hey, hi, Alex. You know, good to hear from you. Jason Gray, all the way from uh, VA. Uh, good, good to hear you on, Jason. And uh, let's see here. The Virtual Weber Bullet just shared your video. Okay, very cool. I really appreciate all the folks from the Virtual Weber Bullet. Chris Ellingham, hi, Ellingham and I go way, way back. I, I was a friend of Chris uh, for many, many years now, I think over 10 years. And I've always supported the folks at the Virtual Weber Bullet. That's a great site for all folks who enjoy using Weber kettles, bullets, Smoky Joes. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot of information. And Chris, just a fab Chris does a fabulous job keeping everybody up to date on the latest and greatest on the world of grilling and barbecue and any of the new Weber products. So I want to give a big shout out to all my friends on the Virtual Weber Bullet. If you recall, <laughs> a few years ago, I was on the Virtual Weber Bullet for five days and I answered, I don't know, probably like 300 questions. It took me a, a, almost five days to get through all the questions and I answered every single one of the questions. And what was amazing is that after I finished the Q&A for Chris's website, on the Virtual Weber Bullet. Someone actually went in and cataloged all the questions and built a little ebook. So if you go onto the Virtual Weber website and you Google uh, any uh, Harry Sue uh, manual, somebody actually uh, filled up, uh, took all the questions and created a little ebook of uh, Harry's barbecue wisdom, <laughs> barbecue and grilling wisdom on the Virtual Weber Bullet. So go check it out. Uh, it's a great site, lots and lots of tips. Uh, say hi to Ramon Rivera Jr. Hey, Ramon, good to see you from you. Chris Ellingham, back at year, uh, Chris. Yeah, glad to be watching you today. And, uh, you know, Chris, I'm looking forward to our tailgate. Uh, for those of you who are following Chris, uh, you'll know that he's going to be hosting, I think, a tailgate soon. Uh, it's a double header uh, at the, uh, in Oakland. So I'll be there cooking barbecue and taking questions. And uh, maybe we might even do a quick panel uh, with some experts like uh, Donna from uh, Butcher's Daughter Barbecue. We're gonna have Chris Ellingham and Harry Sue. We're gonna be taking your questions right in the parking lot of the double header game, all right? So uh, the fire is starting up. I'm gonna turn it over and show you guys how it's starting up. And uh, let's see here, the kettle's starting up. So uh, as I said earlier, the safest way to start your chimney with, with uh, coals in it is actually to use a sterno. So that's how it looks like here. Right, when we go on the road, especially when you're in California, you really don't want to use that rolled up newspaper technique just in case, you know, the wind blows and that piece of uh, burning paper ends up in your neighbor's house or, you know, burn something down. So in California, we are really kind of, you know, smoky bear safe 
and uh, we use the sternal to start our pits. It typically takes uh, about maybe, I don't know, something like 10-15 minutes to start up the uh, fire here and I can feel the heat. Yep, it's getting warm. And once it starts up, we're going to put the uh, grate on and uh, we're going to uh, warm it up, get it to about 500 degrees and we're going to sear some steaks. Uh, these steaks, I already did a smoke on them. I'll show you how they look like. Right here. Uh, and uh, what we did was uh, I smoked them earlier to about 110 degrees. And this way we can do a quick sear on them and uh, get them to be to have perfect pineapple grill marks. Uh, I also want to mention, oh, my apron. Okay, so uh, anyway, I know that a lot of people ask me for, for a swag. And if you are watching this broadcast, guess what? Uh, I'm going to be sending out uh, at least uh, three aprons that I'm going to draw from a random folks uh, who are viewing this uh, broadcast, uh, which later will be on YouTube. So uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. We're going to basically uh, give out some giveaways. And if you want my, me to sign the apron, I'd be happy to give you a customized uh, autograph on the apron. Uh, I'm going to also do some grilling. Uh, we're going to grill some uh, Caesar salad. Um, I like to grill uh, romaine lettuce. Uh, I use a little bit of flavored oils here when we grill them. And uh, I use some of the rub on, on the, some of the meats that we're going to be cooking. All right. So let me go back to the questions here. Okay, Rob uh, Rangosta. Hey, it was a pleasure to meet you at Billy Bob's in Texas back in April. Yeah, that was a fabulous event, wasn't it, at Billy Bob's? Uh, as you probably are aware, I am uh, with the uh, National Barbecue so and Grilling Association. And uh, we had a huge barbecue bash in Fort Worth recently. And uh, we had... Uh, uh, 20 of the, the uh, dream teams in America there and we cooked uh, a lot of barbecues that Saturday. Uh, we fed several, several, several thousand samples to the public. Uh, we had a chance to go out and meet uh, the folks. So if you had come out uh, to forward that day, you got a chance to hang with Myron, folks like Tuffy, uh, Diva Q and a whole bunch of uh, barbecue illuminari. Uh, I see Jason Gray. I see that grill grates. I just added one of my grills a few days ago. Awesome product. Yeah, the grill grates are uh, by Bill... Uh, uh, Bill, uh, 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 you know, uh, Brad uh, is really wonderful. I don't leave home without my grill grate. So if you are in the Steak Cook-Off uh, Association Championship Contest where you cook steaks, the grill grates are a must. You always have to have a grill grates because they just create a beautiful char on the meat. And uh, it's a great, awesome product. And they come in pieces. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll give you a picture of mine here. So this one is basically just a one piece. I actually carry this on my backpack. So when I travel and I go fly on Southwest or Southwest Airlines, depending on your perspective, uh, these work fit in my backpack. So I can actually go with this in my backpack, go on site, uh, borrow a, a, a chimney and just cook, uh, cook a meal. And in this case, we're going to sear some steaks. Let's see if it's hot yet. Okay, getting there, getting there. Yep. All right. Okay, Bill Brady Bodine said Weber lighter cubes. Yes, Brady, you can use uh, Weber lighter cubes also. Uh, remember, right? A sterno costs a dollar, <laughs> and a sterno burns for about what five hours. So you know, I only need to have the sterno on for say five ten minutes. So a, a, a one dollar sterno goes a long, long way. And I, I've used the, the Weber lighter cubes, they're great, uh, but, but you, you pay a little bit more money. All right, Bobby Collins says, hello from Kingsville, Texas. All right, Bobby. Uh, Texas is uh, one of my favorite states. Uh, you guys know that I, I am alumni of uh, Texas Tech University. Uh, graduated there too many years ago, <laughs> something like three decades plus. But uh, I was there back uh, last year and uh, cooked a contest, uh, did really uh, well there. And I was surprised that uh, when I was there, I cooked the contest uh, using California star flavors, believe it or not. I had a, a choice of uh, what you call going big or going home. So what, what do I do when I go to Texas? I cook a uh, Texas style flavor profile with a Dalmatian rub or do I go broke, broke and cook a California style? So I did the blasphemy. I actually cooked the California style sauced brisket. So uh, overall, at the end of the day, when the dust settled, <laughs> it was good for reserve champion. Voila. So there you go. So... Uh, let's see here, Steve Botkin. Hey, hey, Steve Botkin, uh, my good buddy of mine, also my uh, rub partner and sauce partner. He's uh, based out of Los Angeles and uh, he's uh, was recently on uh, Paula Dean and uh, you've seen him on some of the ads on TV also. All right, Charlie Peterson checking from Arizona. Charlie, good to hear from you. It's probably like about 110 degrees right now you know, in uh, Arizona. 
Uh, let's see, Lee Stags would love the signed apron. So Lee, I'm going to add you to the random draw here. We'll, we'll try to see if we can get you a signed apron. Javier Curta, cool. Phyllis Holland Brown, love watching this. Yep, and nothing more than uh, watching, you know, a pit startup. And uh, we're going to be able to grill some steaks. Show you guys uh, how my X flip method works. It's just an easy way to grill steaks and get perfect marks every time. I uh, show this technique in my class, and a lot of my students after class they can go home and do it themselves, and uh, they get a really good result with uh, no hassle whatsoever. All right, Pete Forcinto. For Sinito Jr., smoked ribs earlier, now some chicken. Yep, that's the way to do it. Sunday afternoon, uh, you know, cook dinner in your backyard and uh, hang with friends, get some adult beverages going. And that's what really kind of barbecue is all about here. So it's been about, what, 17 minutes now? Let me see if the grid's heating up here. Yep, the fire is heating up here. I can see a little bit of, uh, let me see here. Yep, I can see it's heating up. So it's taking a little while longer. I had a very small sterno, uh, so uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep going and letting it heat up before we cook the uh, product here with, this, with the uh, ribeye. Uh, let's see here. Frank Smith say I cheated and I'm using sous vide. Uh, you know, for those of you who do not watch new sous vide, is, is basically you put the meat uh, in a plastic pouch, you vacuum seal it, and then you pop it into hot water. And uh, that method of cooking um, is absolutely great. Uh, I actually did a sous vide contest online and I actually won a People's Choice Award uh, for the sous vide. I cooked some Korean style ribs. Uh, and that's definitely a, a, a perfect method to cook some steaks. You're going to get basically H to H pinkness on the steak. You just take it out of the sous vide packet later and you sear it and you're going to get that char on the outside. So that's a really, really great way to do it. All right, Larry Newberry says howdy from Garland, Texas. All right, Larry. How are you doing that back in Texas here? All right, so we are in SoCal here. Hopefully the weather is nice there. Uh, Brady Bolin said, good point on Sterno. Yes, absolutely, and Sterno is cheap. So, you know you know me, right? I'm process efficient and cost efficient, AKA cheap and lazy. <laughs> Dave Baldwin uh, says hello, watching from KC. Uh, w w welcome to the broadcast, Dave, and hopefully uh, be able to answer your questions. If you have any, just shoot them my way. Uh, I can probably try all questions related to uh, barbecue and related to grilling but uh, if you want to ask me questions about horoscope or how to dress wow don't know about that okay ulysses lopez hey hey uh took your class about five years ago and you still use your tips great ulysses i uh, just amazed you ulysses that uh, i've seeded so many pit masters around the world uh, in excess of three thousand people have uh, done sessions with me one-on-one -on -one in small dozen student classes and I, I, I checked my uh, numbers uh, uh, yeah, last night and I was amazed that I've done 160 classes around the world from Kuala Lumpur to Sydney to London to Hawaii to Canada and all over the US. So thanks to all my supporters and all my fans out there. We just want to have fun, go out and spread barbecue love. So I just have so many barbecue ambassadors out there. All right, here we go. Uh, sterno, sterno tip from Robert Turner. Thanks for the Sterno tip. Yes, sir, st Robert, that $1 Sterno will light a lot of pits. So you don't really have to you know, spend a lot of money. All right, let's see here. Jeff Marquis, 75 in AZ. Wow, that's amazing, Jeff, 75 in AZ. Uh, usually, uh, you know, that's pretty low, right? So Friday was 108. Yep, I know the feeling. Uh, been out to AZ. Uh, I work for the water company in LA, and uh, I have one of my uh, facilities out in the desert uh, towards uh, Lake Havasu. And uh, God forbid, you know, whenever we go and do work there, it's always the summertime and it's at least 110 degrees. So be, 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 be careful, Jeff. Uh, for those folks out there, I may be in Arizona soon uh, because uh, I'm doing a reciprocal charity event. Uh, uh, my buddy uh, Sterling Smith from uh, Blue and Booty Barbecue, he uh, challenged uh, me to, uh, you know, reciprocate his, his kind gesture because uh, Sterling coming to California and she's teaching a class and donating uh, proceeds to a California charity. Like I said earlier, the DNA of Pitmasters, we like to help out. So I'm gonna go to Arizona and reciprocate and do a charity event in Arizona, possibly at uh, the Barbecue Island store. And then uh, we're going to donate the, char the proceeds to charity. So look out for that on my website, slapyourdaddybbq.com. Uh, I try to post uh, information there on, on our Facebook. David Haskett, very nice. Love the grill grids. Yep, the grill grids are wonderful. Let me touch them and see the heating up. Yep, they're getting hot now. Wonderful. All right. Zach says, I need some of your rubs. Yeah, Zach, I, I, I do a few rubs here, so I'll, I'll kind of show you a picture of the rubs here. Uh, they are the all-purpose here, which is kind of a one that's for pork 
uh, and seafood. The, the chicken one that everybody uses, a lot of teams have used this to first place already. So, uh, for example, like Duck Shining won the Houston Livestock World Championship on my rub. That was the only rub he used on his product. And then you have my uh, moolah, which is on beef. I won first place, uh, can to to reserve uh, KCBS uh, brisket. And then I also won the sirloin award first place. I have my sauce also, uh, you know, uh, uh, which is uh, basically tailored to the flavor profiles I use to win contests. Uh, what I have here also is, let me see here, I got my shallot oil ready to go. So we're going to cook some, grill up some, uh, some uh, Caesar salad. Hopefully you guys have ever had Caesar, grilled Caesar salad, just wonderful flavor. Whenever you put vegetables on, a, on the grill, it just brings out the sweetness. Uh, we've got some uh, Parmesan cheese. Uh, we got some, uh, some uh, what, do you, uh, what do you call Caesar salad dressing? All right. Uh, and uh, Zach, if you need my rough, just go online. Oh, sorry about daddy, All right, Mark Harmon, ch cowboy charcoal is great too. Yes, uh, Mike, uh, I've used a lots of different kind of charcoal. Cowboy charcoal is pretty good. Steve Young says, like the stainer idea. Yep, uh, you know, we're happy to pass on more and more tips to you guys. There's just a lot of fun about barbecue and lots of little tricks. Uh, you know me, I torture test everything. And uh, if he doesn't pass Harry's a torture test, I don't bring it on the road. So whatever you see me, a lot of folks come up to me when, in the contest. I sh show up in my minivan and I pile a bunch of stuff out. And people look at my stuff and they take pictures and they say, hey, you know, if Harry's using that, I'm going to be using that. For example, folks know that I use only one Weber Smoky Mountain 18. I've, I compete in contests. I've also used a tamale pot on a Smoky Joe to cook a contest and had five walks in a KCBS sanction contest. Okay, Nathan says, mmm, smoke. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this is a live video. So you're seeing smoke, the grill's getting hot. You see here, feeling it for heat, it's hot now. Okay, so I think we're about, you know, about 22 minutes into the live broadcast. You didn't want to hang for, out for too long. Let's see if we can grill some uh, steak here and uh, see if we can get it to work. All right, here's the steak. All right, like I mentioned to you, I had previously smoked it. And I'm going to show you the actual X flip. So the way the X flip works is that let me let me back up and, and give you guys a recap. So what happens is the steak goes on in the ten o'clock position like that, right? I'm sorry, in the two o'clock position. You're going to put it on for approximately say sixty to eighty seconds. We're going to flip once back into the two o'clock position. That's the first flip. Then the next flip is you pick it up and then you flip it X flip across to the ten o'clock position. Another sixty to eighty seconds and then flip it one more time and you should. If everything goes well, get a perfect char mark. So let's see if we can make this work here. I'm holding the, my phone, kind of cook at the same time and kind of talk, try to answer questions. <laughs> I feel like that uh, kind of that monkey with the uh, organ, somebody's, you know. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna put it right on here. Hopefully it's hot enough. Okay, looks like it's hot enough. You can hear the sizzle. So help me out guys, uh, right now, give me, give me a time, give me about 60 seconds and somebody give me a shout out at 60 seconds and uh, We'll watch this uh, grill great do its thing. Bill Scott says, time for another class at Barbecue Island AZ. Yes, I had a lot of fun teaching at the Barbecue Island. For those of you who are not aware, Barbecue Island is one of the premier barbecue stores in Arizona. Pretty much it's a pitmaster's playground. And when you walk into the store, you get actually are overwhelmed by the selection and the range of equipment that they have. So uh, we've been, ab been able to work with the uh, Barbecue Island folks in the past. And hopefully we'll be able to kind of get things going and uh, be able to uh, join them uh, for a, a charity session later this year. Okay, let's see. Nathan Heinem says, just got done with so mesquite smoking some pork ribs. Yes, uh, mesquite's great uh, for short cooks. Uh, mesquite tends to be pretty strong. Uh, it has a slightly oily uh, flavor. Some people love it. Uh, I tend to, you know, you know use mesquite uh, on rare occasions uh, because it has a really strong flavor. All right, let's see here. Matt Armstrong says, smoking, smoky afternoon here in Central Illinois. So Matt, I hope everything's okay in, uh, in your area. I heard there's some, a uh, little bit of a, you know, uh, flooding there. So hopefully you're okay. Glad you could join us on our broadcast. Larry Newberry, doing great. Hope to see you at the Texas Com. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying my best to get back to Texas here. A lot of fun cooking with friends uh, back in Texas. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll run, run, into, run into you one of these days, Larry. Robert Hyer says, hello, hey Robert. Thanks for joining us. Nate Badke, hello from Iowa. Great, great to hear folks from Iowa tuning in. Hopefully uh, it's kind of probably three hour, couple hours ahead, so it might be setting sun over there. Let's see, uh, Nate Anthony Abrahamson. Took a class a month ago and ha could, have not stopped barbecuing since and will be competing for the first time at the West Coast Barbecue Classic. Wish us luck. Hey, best of luck, Anthony. The Barbecue Classic in Long Beach is one of the nicest contests because you're cooking right on the water and uh, you're on the grass, so it's gonna be a fabulous, fabulous contest. All right, so this is the first minute. I'm just guessing, let me see here. 
Okay, I got some char marks. So I'm going to pick it up, right? So for the orientation people, it's a straight line here. I'm going to flip it up and put it back in the 2 o'clock position, right? So I'm pick it up like so. Put it in the 2 o'clock position, like so. Okay, back in the 2 o'clock position. All right, like that. Okay? So I'm going to wait another 60 seconds, right? And uh, since I have it on this side, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to squirt it with just a little bit of flavored oil. I have a flavored oil here. I made it myself. It's basically some shallots I cooked in oil and uh, this is good. Uh, after you strain the shallots off, the oil uh, that you make is, is good for probably uh, you know refrigerator for several weeks. So I always keep flavored oils because they give a great flavor to the food. And uh, let's try to grill up our uh, salad. You know, you've got to have your greens, right? So I'm going to put a green here and I'm going to put one here and hopefully this thing doesn't fly and topple over. Well, uh, if it will, it's going to be a first time for me. So uh, we're going to do this live and <laughs> whatever happens, happens, right? Here we go. All right. So, so hopefully somebody's keeping track for me. Uh, let me look at the time. Okay, we're 27 minutes into the broadcast, right? Okay. Uh, Matt Armstrong says, hoping to get to your class in Chicago. Yeah, I'm uh, teaching in Chicago at the Weber Grill Academy. Uh, I'm one of the uh, invited instructors. And uh, we'll be cooking up a storm, uh, cooking ribs, uh, chicken, and brisket. So if you are in the Illinois, Chicago area, be sure to sign up for the Weber Grill Academy. The classes are, I believe, two ninety nine, and uh, the uh, uh, classes I think are going to be sold out because they have some top, uh, you know, folks going. And uh, it's going to be a fabulous class because uh, I'll be there teaching you guys uh, all the tips and tricks of competition barbecue and backyard barbecue. We're going to be working with some of the executive chefs in Weber. So it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous event uh, in Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Wayne Rogers, raining here. <laughs> it's raining around the corner here in Corona. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, wow, it's beautiful up in NorCal. So glad I'm up here shooting this live video. Let's see here. Uh, Scott Kelly says, hello, Harry. Just put chicken wings on the rainy windy SoCal high desert. Okay, it's high desert, high desert cooking. Here we go. All right, spell check, hello. Okay, got it. Okay, Ron Perot, see you in Chicago, buddy. Ron, uh, glad you could join the class. It's gonna be one, one blast. Uh, it's gonna be two days. I think we're gonna have being, be having uh, kind of like a meet and greet and then followed by uh, uh, the uh, uh, class. Okay, let me flip it over. Okay, I think it's been up a minute, right, guys? I hope somebody's keeping track here. Okay, so now, got a little bit of char on my salad here. All right, here we go. All right, let's do a little char. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna X flip it over to the two o'clock position. So I'm gonna pick it up like this, right, carefully, and then flip it over to the two o'clock position from the vertical grate here, like so, all right? Okay, here we go. All right, so another 60 seconds or so, and uh, I'm going to put some uh, favorite oil. Add a little bit more touch up on the rub since I noticed that some of the rub fell off here. There we go, just a touch up. So it's very important when you cook barbecue to continue to season uh, along the way as you cook because uh, you want to add layers and layers of flavor. I'm going to put some rub into the uh, salad here. Get some uh, oil on, on my Caesar salad, just a touch of, gar of uh, shallot oil. Give it some nice flavor and the steak is sizzling very, very nicely. And this whole contraption is something I cook with when I'm on the road. Just a simple Weber chimney and a little grill grate. And uh, you can create some grill happiness for your teammates uh, as well as any neighbors that might be uh, coming around. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells really good. Uh, the bee, uh, rub that I have that I use for beef uh, has ingredients such as shiitake mushrooms, uh, it's got uh, things like powdered Worcestershire, and uh, this gives it really great uh, umami flavor. And uh, it's, it's uh, kind of you know, cooking really nicely. All right, Ben Galino says hello from Chino. Pete Forci Forcinito Jr. says nice dry rub. Yeah, it's, it, it has a beautiful color. Uh, hopefully you can see this through the uh, Facebook broadcast. Hopefully the resolution is there. Scott Shimano says thank you, Harry, for giving props to Sterling Smith for his general gesture for the California Barbecue Association. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to do that, Scott Shimano, because uh, barbecue folks, you know, we are basically uh, a really uh, friendly bunch of people. So if you go to out to any contest, you know, you come and say hello, that's for a hand, we'll give you two hands. All right, so we are now at the kind of one minute mark, I'm just guessing. I'm gonna pick it up, and then I'm gonna do a flip in the final position here. And if I turn over, you should see perfect grill marks if everything goes well. 
and it's pretty good, not too bad. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so the steak's uh, pretty good, a little bit medium, uh, hopefully medium rare. All right, Nathan says, watching you from sunny Arlington, Texas. Nice 80 degrees, yes, uh, you know, nice weather in Texas. Sean Jack, thanks for the info and link on classes in AZ. I would love to be entered for the apron. Yes, uh, definitely, Sean, enter you for the apron drawing. If you want your autograph, uh, we'll, you know, the winners will we'll get a chance to do that. Bobby Collins says, we would love a signed apron. Great. All right, I'll be using it every day because I barbecue every day. Right, Bobby Collin? You know, I, I know, you know, it's going to be fun cooking barbecue, especially if you can do it every day, even better. Jason Wick says, you coming to Memphis in May? I'll be there, R, spot R57. Jason would love to, but unfortunately, I have a, you know, prior commitment. The uh, Memphis in May is, is one of the, you know, premier pork events in the world. Uh, I've had a chance to, to go there twice, and uh, it's been absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, Rob? Frank from Sydney. Hey, Rob, good to see you from down under. Not sure what time is it, but probably sometime at night here. Ron Perot says, you in Chicago. All right, I'm going to take the uh, steak off. I think that it kind of feels like it's red ready. All right, let's see here. Yep, okay. All right, so we get some char marks here. I'm just going to ready to rest here before I plate it uh, because uh, the, the steak is probably... Uh, needs to rest uh, and uh, redistribute the juices here. So we got some nice char marks and uh, my uh, char Caesar salad is ready here too. All right, let me get some uh, flavored oil on it here. So hopefully you guys, you guys saw that just to recap what happened to the steak. So what we did was we put it in at a two o'clock position and then we waited about 60 seconds, 60 to 80 seconds, and we did a flip once it back to the 2 o'clock. And then we picked it up and did the X flip over to the 10 o'clock position. We cooked it for another, say, uh, you know, 60 to 80 seconds, and we flip it one more time. So my timing may be off because I'm talking and I don't have a, a stopwatch, but uh, you, you get the idea. Basically, if you do it this way, you're going to get char marks uh, on both sides. So I'll flip it over and see so you can see the other side here. Yep, yeah, pretty, de pretty decent char marks, you know. All right, there you go. All right, so that, that's how it's done here. So as soon as the uh, salad is ready, we're gonna plate and uh, show you guys how the final product looks like here. All right, nice, nice char. Look at that, beautiful. So what happens is when you char your vegetables, you have basically a little bit of caramelization that goes on, sweetens up the vegetables a little bit. I think we're, I think we're good, there's enough char here. All right, so let me pick the nicer one. I like this one better. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my plate. Like so, set this one aside. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, Caesar dressing on. Nice. There we go. Right, just a grill, simple grilled romaine with some Caesar salad dressing. I uh, like a little bit of Parmesan on it here, Parmesan Reggiano here, right. and I'm going to place the steak right here. All right, here we go. There you go. All right, so you there you have it. Minutes here. All right, 60 seconds up. Thanks, Mike Harmon, for letting me know. Everybody's calling, calling it uh, 60 seconds here. Lee says flip. Oh, yeah, I flipped uh, Lee. So pretty good looking steak, a little bit of char to it. And uh, we have a dinner going here, uh, some ribeye steaks. So uh, let me swing back, swing back to the camera. All right, so anyway, everybody, thanks for joining me for a short Facebook Live broadcast, about 35 minutes or so. Uh, took a little while to get the steak going. Appreciate all your comments and I'll be posting this video on YouTube and uh, we'll let you, let you guys join me again next Sunday. We'll pick another topic. If there's any topic that you'd like me to talk about, uh, you know, like what is MSG, uh, competition tips and tricks, uh, I can do a theme because I can probably talk eight hours on any given topic. So when you guys are ready, let me know what you like and uh, we'll keep posting these Sunday live broadcasts 
and I want to try to keep them say around say 18 minutes to 20 minutes or so that way it keeps it short and compact and hopefully over time you guys will have a library of knowledge that you can reference anytime you want so thanks everybody for joining me uh, I will be doing classes uh, at the Schaumburg Illinois next month in, Ch in Chicago and uh, following that, I'll be doing uh, events uh, in New Mexico. And every month, I do classes in SoCal. Uh, and if you need any of the product you saw on, on the video, go to slapyourdaddybbq.com and check things out. They're also on Amazon. So thanks, everybody, for joining me. Shout out for Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Rob Plank, Nathan, okay, Robert, more of you. All right, thanks, everybody. All right, see you guys next time. Take care.